Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is my second channel, my lifestyle slash kind of vlogging channel. It has been quite a while since I published my last video. I apologize for that. So much has been going on, so much that I could have been filming, but I just need to get into more of a habit of just picking up the camera and bringing it along and just filming a little bit along the way. So I do have some uh, nice B-roll from the past, I don't know, two months for you. And I'm just gonna get you kind of caught up on everything that has been going on since spring arrived. So maybe grab a snack, something to eat, and we will get started. Okay, so we just finished building our garden box. Um, the wood is totally wonky, but it is perfect. It worked really well. Um, I forgot to get a paintbrush. I do want to attempt to paint it white with some old paint we have that we were gonna throw out, but I mean, this is just an outdoor garden box, so I might try to paint the outside of it white once I pick up um, a paintbrush or a roller, something like that. That was like the one thing we forgot to get today, but that is done. I am quite excited to start, um, you know, learning more about gardening and hopefully trying to grow some of our own vegetables this year. That would be absolutely amazing. I really, really want to learn. And it feels intimidating because I've never done it before. Um, but you know, now I'm settled in my own home and I feel like this is the perfect time to learn. So I will check back in with you when the time comes to actually paint, number one, paint the box, because I need to do that first. And then number two, start filling it and preparing it to plant. And I still have to decide what I'm going to plant in it. So I will see you again soon and uh, we will get this garden box going. friends so we are back inside we had a lovely afternoon outside we put together a garden box we cleaned the horse's water trough and filled it with filtered water we always fill the trough all the way up with filtered water at least once a week we did a little bit of mucking and then we picked out the horse's feet and we did um, a little hoof treatment it's been pretty wet around here and uh, horses can get something in their feet called thrush when it's like wet conditions. So we've been picking out their feet and applying some like thrush treatment uh, a few times a week. So we did that. And now I am going to make some dinner. I am going to make a big bat, uh, batch of nachos. And I wanna show you how I do it because I make my own, <clears throat> sorry, I have allergies. So if my nose sounds weird, that might be why. I make my own nacho cheese now, so instead of doing like shredded cheese and then hoping that it'll melt, 
Um, I make my own vegan nacho cheese and I pour it over the top and it is just so good. So I am going to prep some nachos and I'm going to show you how I make my vegan cheese sauce because it is just so good. Okay, I finished making our nachos. They smell absolutely delicious. We are going to enjoy our dinner and turn on uh, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel season four. Hello friends, long time no see. I am doing a little bit of a vlog for you, kind of showing you what we've been up to um, in the spring because spring has finally arrived. Uh, yesterday, well right now, I'm making just some soups for us. It's like one o'clock on a Sunday. Yesterday I made, with Greg's help, uh, a second garden box. Oh well, look, here we found that. Look, there's that's my, pretty. my stuff growing on the property. Yeah, that's nice. I think it's called a common house leak. Yeah. garden box that we made I filled with potatoes those have been in there for a couple weeks now I think um, and today I want to plant some spinach and I also have beets and carrots but I'm not sure if I'm going to be planting those but I definitely want to plant some spinach
got back from tractor supply. We ran into town to go get some soil. I forgot to get soil yesterday. Um, what else? We got a harrow because the horse manure in our, like, in their little pen area, or not little, it's like a half acre pen, but it's been building up a bit. So, um, we went and got a harrow. Maybe I'll show you, I'll show you guys that. It is so fun to drive a harrow, to pull a harrow. It's just, I have so much fun doing it. So we got one of those, it's awesome. It's gonna really help us maintain our property a little bit better. Um, so I just wanna start, I don't know, taking you guys along with me a little bit more. I know I'm terrible about putting out videos on this channel and I don't really know why because it's just my life. What I do day to day. So, Gypsy Hello. looked so cute when you walked out there. Gypsy. She was standing all I know. proud and she strong. She looked beautiful, didn't she? Yeah. Hi, hello. I thought it would be fun to switch up our filming location a little bit because I always film my um, writing, publishing, editing, bookish content in my office. And if you are interested in that, uh, my main channel is linked down below. So I have a little list in my little uh, rhinoceros journal here of kind of everything that's been going on, things that I just want to get you caught up on, you know, just what life has looked like lately. So here we go. First things first. Gardening, I have embarked on a gardening journey. I have wanted to have my own garden and like really learn about growing my own food for many, many years. So I have officially um, started gardening. I have two garden boxes that I planted um, potatoes in one of them and then spinach and carrots in the other one. And then we made another really big garden box. I have not planted in it yet. Um, I need to go get more soil and I want to do a bunch of romaine in that one because we eat a lot of romaine. So I haven't planted that yet. And then I'm also doing some hay bale gardening. I know you're supposed to do straw bale gardening, but I don't have straw, I just have hay. So I'm growing garlic and some hay bales and those are actually covered right now because we are having a winter storm. <coughs> Yes, and that kind of transitions nicely into like the weather that we've been having and things that have been going on here. So I wanna say it was almost a month ago now at this point, we're probably closing in on about a month. Um, we had a wildfire really, really close to our house, like literally right across the street. And we ended up getting evacuated for it. It was absolutely terrifying. We had to um, pack up the horses in the trailer, pack up our work computers and the cats and drive away because of the evacuation. So that was really, really scary. Um, I've never been evacuated for a fire before, or at least I hadn't until that day. Um, and to kind of add to that and the stress of just being evacuated for a fire, like literally right across the street, um, Greg dislocated his shoulder while unloading Ty from the trailer and uh, he is healing up really well and he still has to wear his sling every so often and you know when it gets really sore but thankfully he has been able to work so that's really nice. Um, so there was that wildfire and then actually last Thursday a big fire started just down the road from our house so definitely farther away than the one that we got evacuated for um, but the fire down the road spread very quickly. Um, you know, by the end of the first day, I think it was at four or 500 acres. So it became like a disaster situation very quickly, really scary. Um, 
the sky was constantly filled with smoke and you could smell it so strong and you know we didn't really want to have any of our windows open because of how strong the smoke was and there was ash fall um last weekend when I, I was like out doing the horse trough and there was just like ash falling from the sky so that was really that was also a really scary situation too especially considering it's still spring and we've only been having like 70 degree days but part of the problem is we have low humidity here and we've had really bad windstorms so i don't know how this really big fire started but the one right across the street from us started when a tree fell on a power line and then started the fire so we like i said we still don't know the cause of the big one it is last i checked it was like 87 percent contained so we're very grateful that um it didn't burn any houses or anything like that um, and we didn't get evacuated for it but wildfires um, have been a prevalent part of our spring so far I am very grateful that actually today we are having, I think I already mentioned it, a, a really random winter storm. Yesterday was a beautiful like 74 degree day um, and today we're having snow, we're, it's supposed to snow all weekend and then we're supposed to get rain at the start of next week. So even though it'll be kind of a wet, kind of crummy weekend, um, I'm very grateful for it because it, I'm hoping that it'll help put out that wildfire and you know what remains of it now that it is almost 100% contained and we could just really use the moisture in the area. So that is what has kind of been going on with the weather. I knew that I had to talk about that because I mean anybody who lives in like a wildfire area probably knows how terrifying that can be and, and you know what a serious situation it is. Some of the nice things about spring apart from the fires, the birds are back. Whenever I hear the spring birds start to sing outside that's when I know that spring has like truly arrived. You know that it's not spring until the birds are singing and it's just absolutely amazing to see the birds outside every day. They're singing, they're building nests again. Um, we have a swallow family that lived in our barn uh, last summer and we left the nest up for them and they've returned this spring. So the little swallow family is back. It's, it's really nice to see them again. It's so cool that they can migrate and then come home to the exact same place where they were before. So the birds are back, um, the grass is growing kind of slowly, but I do think that with this big storm, um, we should have a lot of greenery just kind of like blooming and popping up next week. So that's really exciting as well. Uh, what else has happened? My ring, I feel like I wanna talk about my ring. So if you guys have seen, um, you know, like other vlogs and stuff, this is not the ring that I usually wear. Um, I had, unfortunately, past tense, a beautiful ring with an amethyst on it. Greg and I picked it out together and I was absolutely in love with it. And about a month ago, a day before we were evacuated for the wildfire, I realized that I had lost it and I thought our robo vacuum had sucked it up. We have this awesome robot vacuum now. His name is George. He does an, amaz an amazing job. We love him. But I thought he had sucked up my ring for like a week, a week and a half. I was like, it was George. I know it was him. I probably emptied him out and threw it away. But then Greg actually found the amethyst, just the amethyst stone from my ring out in our horse uh, dry lot area which means I think I had my ring in my pocket and I pulled like my gloves out of my pocket or something and the ring just fell on the ground. So I'm almost 100% certain that the actual band is out there somewhere, but we have looked and looked and looked. We have like raked the area where he found the amethyst and we cannot find it. So I think, like I said, I dropped it. I think one of the horses probably stepped in it and kind of broke the amethyst out of its, um, like the little clasps, you know, but the amethyst is not damaged, which is really interesting. It's a little bit dirty, but it's not chipped. It doesn't look scratched, at least not like to the naked eye. So I don't, I don't really know what's going on, but my ring is gone. I have been wearing just this random ring that I found in my like jewelry box. So I would like to order a new ring. At least I have something to go off of in terms of sizing. So I did lose my ring. What else? Gypsy hurt her eye. She got um, a scratch on her eye, actually two scratches. One of them um, was worse than the other. And of course she only has one eye. So um, eye injuries are always serious in any animal, you know, especially horses. But when they only have one eye to begin with, you have to be even more careful. So 
we've been giving her antibiotics. We did like a round of antibiotics in her eye and then the vet came back out and the scratch was still there. It wasn't healing as quickly as it should be. So the vet did something really, really interesting. So she drew some blood and she spun it down and she was able to extract a serum from Gypsy's own blood. And we're actually using that now um, as as an eye treatment because it's like anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, I think, or antibacterial. And it's just so cool that she, the vet was able to take something from, you know, Gypsy's body and we can put it back into her eye now to try to help her. So we've been doing that. Um, her eye is healing, thankfully. It's just healing very slowly. So that has been kind of like a daily thing going out. You know, it's not, it's not fun having to put like medicine into a horse's eye but she is just so sweet and docile and gentle and she's very like forgiving with me as I am trying to like get her eye open and you know put her antibiotic ointment in there so that's been going on as well she's healing up nicely Ty is doing really well uh yeah so on the horse front apart from the eye scratch things have been going well and I guess the last thing to talk about is that I have been cooking like crazy I really like discovered my love for cooking and baking when we moved here and i i mean we don't really go out to eat around here because there aren't any um vegan restaurants close by the closest one is about i don't know maybe 40 or 45 minutes away and we have gone there a couple times and really like it but um you know driving 40 or 45 minutes to to have a bite to eat oftentimes just isn't very appealing so i just cook at home you know most of our meals and everything i want to do more cooking content on this channel because it, it has become a really big part of my life something that i enjoy a lot um, i'd like to do some more clean with me's and we also have a ton of projects not necessarily planned we haven't like purchased things for these projects but we have a ton of projects that we want to do this summer and i want to bring you along on all of those i want to you know, kind of include you in the process of kind of updating our home. We still don't have trim up there as you can see. So uh, putting in some trim will definitely be important for us to do this spring slash summer. We're going to finish painting all the doors, painting um, all of the like door frames because that's not quite done yet. We just ordered new hardware for the doors because <laughs> some of our doors, like one of the bathroom doors, if you go in and close it, it'll lock you in. So actually Greg got locked in the bathroom last weekend and he couldn't let himself out. It was pretty funny. So we had to order new hardware so that we no longer accidentally lock ourselves in rooms. Um, so those will be really nice. They're like black and modern. It's just gonna look beautiful. So we have, home projects that we'll be doing, um, projects around the property, of course, gardening projects as I start learning how to grow my own food, uh, stuff with the horses, stuff with the barn. We got a harrow, which I still have not showed you. I know I mentioned it um, in a previous clip that we got a harrow and I was gonna show it to you, but now it's snowing outside and I don't think it's the right time to take my camera out there and try to show you what the harrow looked like. Uh, but we did get a harrow, so the next time we pull that out to, um, work on the dry lot, I will definitely take my camera along with me. So long story short, a lot has been happening here. Um, apart from the fires, it has been an absolutely beautiful spring. M pretty much my whole life I've said that um, fall was my favorite season, probably followed by winter, spring, and then summer, but I feel like this is the first year that that has shifted. Um, I now feel that my favorite season is definitely spring, um, probably followed by fall, because this spring, like after such a dense cold, like there were days where I woke up and went to feed the horses and it was like literally negative 25, negative 28 out, just so, so like bitter freezing cold. So seeing the grass pop up and having 60 and 70 degree days has just been really uplifting. I've been in a, in a really good mood lately because of it. So I think the spring is now my favorite season. Uh, yeah, so this is just um, a little update on what we've been doing, what's been going on. We're doing well here. Greg is healing, the cats are well, Gypsy is healing, and Ty is just his wonderful, sometimes grumpy Ty self. So everybody is well and I will definitely make more of an effort to put out more content and just carry my camera around more so that I can document 
what we're doing and what's going on in our lives. So if you have any questions, maybe any requests for content, um, for example, I've had people request um, videos about like my vegan journey, which I would love to share with you. Um, I've had people request videos about the horses, you know, how we bond with the horses not riding them, why we don't ride them, stuff like that. And I have all of those written down in my in my notebook to film for you. So if you have any questions or um, want to request specific videos, please always feel free to do so down below. And that is all I have for you today. It's probably about four now. Uh, it's 3.30, so probably here in an hour or so, I'm gonna go make dinner and just enjoy a cold snowy Friday night and enjoy the snowy weekend. Probably, maybe, uh, the last snowy weekend of the spring. So yeah, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.